Harry, now that you're back here in Sacramento, just overall, what is it like to kind of step back in this arena? Oh, it's great. It's great. Um, you know, I had a lot of great, great, a lot of great memories here. Spent some great years here. Uh, you know, obviously, where I kicked off my career, so it's always great to, you know, get back here. And then, really, for me now, just kind of being out the last two years and coming here in the playoffs and just being a competitor and know how much love I get here. I always told myself when I was working to get back, I wanted to make sure that, you know, if I don't do anything else in my career, I make sure I get to play in front of these fans one more time. You know, regardless what team is on. Uh, so, you know, it's happening tonight. So. Uh, a dream come true, and just uh, I'm just blessed to be in this moment again. Have you processed kind of what the emotions will be like for you when it comes to the fans being in the building and you stepping out here on the court? No, I don't. I've been thinking about it all the time. Even today, like when I walked in to the gym for shooting around, I just felt weird, like especially walking in on this side, just because I've been walking in on the other side for so long, you know. And just you know how it is when you play somewhere and you somewhere else, like even having to come down here from the other end, I almost I knew what to do, but I was a little lost too. But uh, I think it'll be great, man. Uh, I got some love when I was in the playoffs, but you know, like I said, it's different being a player and just, you know, them seeing you back, seeing me back playing, they know what I've been through. So uh, I think it'll be great. You know, I'm excited for the raw emotion to come out, so it'll be good. What's the ticket request like for being back in Sacramento? Luckily, it ain't too bad because my fam out here crazy. And, you know, a lot of the fans here, they always come anyway. You know, there's a lot of season ticket holders, and uh, everybody always come anyway. So they do a good job of supporting off the love. So not too bad with the tickets. I probably get more problems other with other places. When they drafted you, Sacramento, like, what did that mean for you just kind of, you know, with the earlier surges and everything, how much did it mean for them to just kind of put that faith in you and believe in you early back then? Yeah, I mean, it was great, bro. I mean, you know, my dream country, I was trying to play in the NBA, so they made it happen for me and, you know, forever thankful for that. Uh, I actually got drafted to Portland on draft night. They traded me and Justin Jackson for Zach Collins, but they still had to want us, you know what I'm saying? So it was good. Uh, and I had a great time. Uh, you know, I kind of started off as, like, the wrist guy when I first got here, like, you know, ins whatever, insurance, probably want to call it, you know, but... You know, I, I worked my way through that, and I did some big things here. So uh, I think that's what kind of grew my interest out here a lot, too, seeing that somebody that was a little more on the questionable side that turned out that should be a good player here. So, Harry, uh, I asked Mikel and Jock just kind of about you and what you have meant to this group this season. And they both said the same thing, that it's like the positivity that you bring every single day. And they don't know when you're in a bad mood or you're not in a bad mood because you don't show it. Just for you, like, where does that come from and where does that stem from? Uh, I think just... Having to go through things and knowing that, you know, having a negative approach and a negative attitude with certain things is never going to help. It just always hurts it. And i kind of been like that since I kind of got hurt the first time. And, you know, it's still tough. I had bad days, but I, mean, I still don't want to show it because I don't want to put my bad energy on the group or anybody else because, you know, everything affects everything. All energy matters, you know. So, and, like, just for anybody, like, working – any kind of job. We all have bad days. You got days you don't want to go to work. You got days when things happen. You have death. You have all types of things that go on, but you still got to find a way to, you know, get through it and keep doing what you got to do and do your job. So I think that's just a part of it. Life, you know, life's going to throw curveballs at you, but you got to just find a way to avoid them and still be you. With the fans here, obviously it's a great atmosphere to allow, but just what do they mean to you, your two years here? Oh, it's great, man. It was great. Uh, in my three years here, it was great. Uh, we had a great connection, great bond. Uh, I think at the time I was here, we was coming from a uh, situation of wanting to win and wanting to kind of just get out of the mud, get it from the grit. And I was in the same position trying to just get back to where I was and get back to playing. So it's kind of like we came up together in a way, you know. So uh, And like it's always was genuine love from them showing me love in Vegas when I first got drafted to just always supporting me through the times when I didn't play for a whole year. They still never changed on me. So I think from then and just I don't know what it is about it. We just got a special bond. Like it's, it's something about it. I can't even explain it. but. You know, they know they know how I feel about them. Do you still kind of like, I don't know if Root's the word, but like when they had their success last year, was there still right. some happiness even though you weren't part of the team? Like, yeah, for success, sure, like, for sure. Even the last two years, you know, because, I mean, being with De'Aaron, you know, we got drafted together. He's the one dude that was here with me the whole time and been here ever since. Uh, and then obviously with Harrison and even Alex. But, you know, those two guys, uh, you know, still we talked about. We talked about seeing the city in the playoffs and knowing what it'd be like when this team can get to the playoffs and you see how it is now. It was It's always been good. We weren't even a playoff team, you know, so to see them in the playoffs, like, it felt like something because I remember we had those talks and what we worked for and, you know, they still kind of play the same way we did and do things the same way. So it's been good. And I think, uh, you know, the fans kind of keeping me connected here too always helps too, you know, and just having good people around as well. So I know you don't want it to be lit tonight, but right. what are your thoughts on the beam and kind of what that has brought yeah, to the group? I definitely don't want it to be lit tonight. Uh, 
But I think that's cool. Uh, they always like purple things around here, like purple talk. We always do a lot of stuff with purple, but I think that's a cool thing because like this city is, it's, they take pride in that city. You know, like being from, I guess like New York, you know what I'm saying? Being from Brooklyn, somewhere like that, you know? Or St. Louis, they got the arts, you know? I think that's something for them that they can kind of represent themselves there. You know, outside of like the bridge and stuff like that. But um, I think it's a cool thing they can do, kind of show support to the team because it's the only team here and everybody's Sacramento crazy here. and. I think every time they see that, even if you don't watch sports, you know what it means. So I think it's a good thing they got going on, and um, you know, it's getting some good buzz as well. What has it been like just playing with this Brooklyn Nets team, and like to have these guys as your teammates, and to have Jock Vaughn as right. a head coach, and kind of what they have brought to your career? Oh, it's been great, man. They've helped like just refresh everything for me, and just make things just so much better. Like just being around a coach that's played, and uh, being a great guy like Coach JV is. Um, you know, from the time I even, before I even signed on the team, he's been a great with me. So I think that's the one thing that's been different from, from him to all the head coaches. Even when I wasn't all the way on the squad yet, he still showed me love as if I was. So I think that made me want to be here more and made me want to work hard more to just kind of play for him and do things for him. And, uh, you know, same with Mikhail and my teammates. Uh, you know, being around Mikhail when he was in Phoenix, because I'm real good with uh, Chris Paul, like my big brother. But, um, you know, I got to be around Mikhail a lot from going back and forth in Phoenix and stuff like that. And, it's kind of full circle again when you get to play with guys and uh, seeing guys that I always know throughout the year and just seeing how actually good the guys they are up close and personal. And just like I said, just getting to be on the same team as them as well and them just uplifting me and keeping keeping the vibes good and always just being a good person regardless of if I'm playing or not. You know, all those things matter every day. So, you know, it can be easy for me to be me. Jock said that you deserve more minutes. You, like, you, if it wasn't for the depth that this team has, especially with Nick and Dayron, but for you, the work that you put in all the time, Mikhail said no one can even s s describe the work, right. how much work you put in. Just what is that like for you to kind of have that stay ready mentality right. and just that work balance? Yeah, it's grammar pro, you know what I'm saying? This is my job regardless if you play or not. You know, that's what you signed up for. It's what I could admit to myself too. And like I said, I think being out always changed my mind. So, you know, I was younger, 21. I'd probably be a little bit more frustrated doing things like this because I used to have to do it here in Portland a little bit. But, you know, I've been there when I didn't play before. Shout out my guy Jimbo. Uh, I've been here when I ain't had to play before. So I know what it's like to have to just keep uh, staying ready and staying ready for your moment. But I know what it's like when you can get out there and when you get out there and, you know, you got to be ready. So, uh, like I said, I'm just trying to do what I can do to be the best teammate to this team. And, you know, I think if I work, showing the young guys that, you know, you got to stay ready and be patient. And, uh, you know, don't get discouraged by, you know, not seeing the vision right away. Because as long as you work, I know how I was when I was out. And I didn't see the vision knowing if I was going to get back here. So I apply the same rules. You know, uh, I was talking to Trent about that. I think I, somebody about it last night. I think the worst part of not kind of being out is just the, the unknown. You know, having to work and not knowing what's next and not knowing if you're going to get back and not knowing if you're going to get a shot. So um, I, I just apply the same thing here. And when it comes to this road trip, I know that you guys took care of business in these last couple of games. Right. Just kind of what do you guys want to establish on this trip and continuing that success? Yeah, just showing that we can sustain and be the same team we are on the road, especially, um, you know, a little time difference. Just the first two games might bother us a little bit, but I think it's no excuse. Uh, we get some rest today. Uh, play against five good teams on this trip and just trying to just uh, just keep establishing ourselves and um, uh, just establish our identity as a team. But I think we can do good on this trip. We just got to just lock in on what we're doing and uh, stay together.